In this lecture, I am going to find the value of mn and for equation has infinitely many solution. So first equation 3x plus 4y equal to 12 and the next equation m plus n x plus 2 m n m minus n y equal to 5 m minus n. So here let's see the answer. So first I am going to write the equation. So first equation 3x plus 4y so this 12 that moving on the left so it become minus 12 equal to 0 okay so this equation is the form of a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 so here a1 equal to 3 b1 4 c1 equal to minus 12 so here we can write a1 equal to 3 b1 equal to 4 c1 equal to minus 12 after that here next let's write equation 2 so here now equation 2 m plus n x 2 m plus minus n y and this all term that moving on the left side so it become minus 5m minus 1 equal to 0 now thereafter this equation is the form of a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 so here we can write a2 equal to m plus n b2 equal to 2m minus n c2 equal to minus 5m minus 1 now there here you can get the uh, terms equation has infinitely many solution so here equation has an infinitely many solution so if you get a term like this in equation has infinitely many solution that means coefficient of a so, sorry coefficient of x that is a1 divided by a2 equal to coefficient of y b1 divided by b2 and here coefficient of constant term all are same okay so here next we need to put the value of a1 so a1 3 a1 is 3 and a2 is m plus n b1 is 4 b2 is 2 m minus n and here c1 is minus 12 and this minus 5m minus 1 now here minus minus that changes and it, it become plus thereafter after doing this here you need to compare so compare these twos or take these twos or you can take these twos or you can take first and third so anyone you can take here so now taking uh, uh, first and second 3 m plus n equal to 4 2 m minus n 4 2 m minus n here 12 5m minus 1 after that to here it cancel by two times do the cross multiplication so here you can get 3 m minus n here 2 m plus n thereafter here 3 m minus 3 n here 2 m plus 2 m 
this all move on the left so here we can write 3m minus 3n minus 2m minus 2n equal to 0 now 3m minus m that is m and this here minus 5n equal to 0 after that here or uh, this is here it cancel by two times let's do the cross multiplication 2 5m minus 1 and here 12 m minus n so it cancel by six times and here 5m minus 1 here this is 6m minus 6n after that or uh, this all move on the left so here 5m and uh, here minus 1 here minus 6m plus 6n equal to 0 and this minus that move on the right so here 5m minus m that is minus m here 6n and 1 equal to 0 let us assume this one equation 1 and this equation 2 now to get the output of m and n add equation 1 and 2 so here write adding equation 1 and equation 2 so m minus 5n equal to 0 minus 5 minus m 6n equal to 1 so here now you can see this plus minus that uh, uh, that uh, finish m there after 5n minus 6n that is n and here 1 so n value is now 1 this is the first answer now n you can put in any equation so let putting on the first equation so here putting n value in equation 1 so equation 1 is m minus 5n equal to 0 now m a minus 5 into 1 equal to 0 thereafter m 5 equal to 0 and uh, here this m move on the right so here m equal to 0 plus 5 m equal to 5 this is the second answer of this question so one time going to repeat write the equation first and the equation is the form of a1x b1y plus c1 here you can get a1 b1 c1 next write the equation 2 and here this is now in the form of a2x b2y c2 from here you can easily get a2 b2 and c2 after that here you can get the term equation has infinitely many solution so here if you get so here coefficient of x that is a1 divided by a2 coefficient of y b1 divided by b2 coefficient of constant c1 divided by c2 put the value of a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 after that here make the relationship with 1 2 second third first third so you can also try with 1 and 3rd so after that here 1 3rd sorry 1 second here you can get all these terms and do the simplification here you can get this equation m minus 5n equal to 0 for second here you can get these terms and uh, here minus m plus 6n equal to 1 add the equation 1 and 2 from here you can get n put the value of n in equation 1 or 2 here you can get m so this is the way we can do the find the value of m or n in this questions so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you